jump scare. Okay, so we need to talk. I have to update you guys on my life. Basically, you know that job that I was telling you about before in one of my job or in one of my videos? I got there. It was all different from what they said. I was hired on as one position, but so many other people were also hired on for that position. We were basically like competing. So yeah, there were a ton of red flags and they were not everyone there, but like the main person, the director was lying about a lot of stuff. And yeah, so that job didn't end up working out. So currently I'm unemployed. Some sunscreen because I have to go out today. On my last day, they gave me my final check and it bounced. And it said also like that it was going to be available February 7th for some reason. I should have screenshotted it because it changed like it was only saying that in the beginning. So I waited until the 7th, which is today, and nothing is available still. So I texted the director and basically let me just read it for you i was like hey i tried to pause in the check you gave me on my last day and it was denied due to insufficient funds and then he said we've never had a check bounce please check with your bank this is not a me problem or my bank i've never had an issue with my bank before this is you so now i have to go to the bank today and see if i can get the bank teller to call him and have him confirm but i'm just annoyed like in the job description and even in our interview we talked about one thing and then when i got there it was completely different and i was hired on as the director's assistant that's what the interview was for that's what we talked about like in the job description and everything and on my first day the girl who was training me she asked me what i was hired on as and i was like the director's assistant and she was like oh me too i wonder how many people he hired on like that and i was like what so basically it was a competition between me and a few other girls to see who was going to do the best and who could be the director's assistant which i guess is fine if you're upfront about it in the interview like if you're gonna have somebody quit their job then it better be for a position that's solid you know it shouldn't be for a competition that they don't know about i did not know that it was supposed to be a competition and i went up to him and i was like yeah why is this happening <laughs> and he was like yeah oh don't think of it as a competition just think of it you know like yada 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 trying to calm me down like no i quit my job for this to come work for you in a position that i thought was the position that we talked about but apparently not i feel like that is completely unethical to do to a person behind their back like i said if he had said something in, in the interview it would have been different i don't know if i would have taken the job or if i would have but if i knew about it and i did take the job then i would know exactly what i'm getting into you know what i mean so anyway i did the stupid thing and just carried on not asking any questions and then eventually i did have a question because i was like doing all of the work the first position that we were supposed to be training was dispatch so i was doing dispatch and i had a partner in the office with me and we shared a phone so basically whoever grabbed the phone first they took the call but it was always me and i was like why is it always me so i went to the director and i was like it's always me why and then he said basically it wasn't even supposed to be me it was supposed to be the other person and that i was supposed to take the rollover calls and at the time the rollover calls were not like there were like basically none so i was doing nothing we switched spots basically i did like the document printing and like you know the busy work but the other one was taking all the phone calls and I guess she went up to him and started complaining about me doing nothing. And he said, oh, you're right. I'll talk to her. And he didn't talk to me. <laughs> Basically, what he did was call me up to the office and fire me for doing exactly what he told me to do. There was nothing else to do. So what do you want me to do? So at this point, I'm very confused. Like, why is this the first I'm hearing of this? Like, I didn't get any warnings like what in the world when he was like oh i did tell you and he referenced a all staff meeting where he very vaguely said oh you know this job isn't for everyone so if it's not really for you just take the weekend think about it come back and you know yada 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 nothing specific was said like the problem wasn't specific the person wasn't specific you know what i mean like these are things that you need to have a one-on-one -on -one with your employee sit them down and say hey tiana 
you were doing this and not doing this or this was wrong or whatever and I need you to fix that I need you to do this instead then I can like change and like make it better but nope it was just that very vague meeting with the all staff group and then to be honest I was kind of shocked afterwards because I was just like well this is out of nowhere you know um so I didn't really say much or like argue I did say like why is this the first time hearing of it and like I did exactly what you told me to do and to that he like had nothing to say he just like changed the subject oh and the whole time his other assistant was in the office like this is just awkward okay so yeah now that that's out of the way i just felt like i had to tell you guys because i told you that i switched positions in the first place Ooh, it's my first time doing the crisscross version instead of all one direction so we'll see how this turned out so life as an unemployed person is kind of, it's not like super exciting. <laughs> it's a little bit stressful because I'm like trying to apply to so many jobs a day and try to get interviews, you know? Also, I normally string it through here because this kind of holds it in place. Okay, it looks pretty good. Do you guys like it? Wow, I feel like this is better than any curls I normally get with a curling iron. We'll see how long they last though because I've done this before and normally they start to fall pretty fast, so. Okay, just grabbed the check and now I'm ready to go to the bank. Alrighty guys, I just got to the bank. Wish me luck. Update, um, I left a check at home so I have to go back home. <laughs> I'm so stupid, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm back, I got what I need. I'm going to head in now, finally, and then I will update you guys with the real update that you guys have been waiting for when I get back. Okay, so here's the update. It's pretty anticlimactic, but um, it was able to be deposited. The teller basically said, that it probably wasn't deposited the first time because it had a little rip in it. And they gave it to me that way. They gave it to me ripped. They only gave me the check part, my, like my check part, you know? So like I didn't get to rip off the second half of it, but she was able to write it in manually and deposit it. And so that's good. Alrighty, so I am back home. I'm just gonna eat a banana because I need to take some pills, but I don't want my stomach to be empty. Okay, so now that I'm home and all settled in, I am going to get started on my work now because as an unemployed person, I still have work to do. So my full-time job now is basically job searching. So I try to apply to five jobs a day, sometimes more. So here's my job search planner. This is how I keep track of all of the jobs that I'm applying for. This is the last place that I was at. I gave them a red flag because there were lots of red flags. Um, but yeah, so in the beginning, I kind of was trying for five and then there were a few days that I didn't have a lot. And then basically ever since then, I've been doing five or more. And then this is basically just set up for when I have something to put in there but yeah this way if a company reaches out to me and they're like oh you applied for this I can look in here and be like oh yeah I did or no please stop contacting me because to be honest there's a lot of scammers out there and there are a ton more than I ever thought of before but I made the mistake of putting my indeed resume set to like public where people could like view my file without me applying to things and all of a sudden I was getting texts and calls and emails and none of these people were able to give me their work domain email because they didn't have one because they didn't work for a company there was one the very first one I was just like this seems sketchy but I'm gonna like go with it just to see where this goes we did this whole interview thing and then at the very end they were like okay yeah now give me all this like personal information I was like I'm not doing that <laughs> but yeah now I'm only answering to things that I applied to and to be honest finding jobs to apply to isn't all that hard sometimes it can be time consuming just because of the like application process some of them are asking for you to fill out 
a ton of pages of information and it's just a lot but generally i just stick to indeed the um job feed email that they send me it's pretty accurate to what i would normally apply to on my own so i just kind of go through the list see what i would apply to and then apply to it and then also my mom has been really helpful she just sends me like lists of jobs that she thinks that would be good for me and that i would like so i also apply to those ones the search part isn't the hard part it's more just the time consuming application process that is the hard part so yeah, I'm going to try to apply to five right now and hopefully it doesn't take forever. <laughs> the other thing is normally I will have a window open with my cover letters and my resume. I do try to customize it to what they have on their job description. So if I click on this one and scroll down, then you can kind of see like what they want. So they have great customers with a pleasant and helpful attitude. So then I would put in here, you know, something along those lines. Um, I don't put it in if it's not true for me, but if it is true, then I will put it in here to make it a little bit more of what they wanna see and hopefully that will help them choose me for the interview process. And to be honest, it seems like a lot of work to do it that way, but it honestly doesn't take that much time or effort. But yeah, and I've actually gotten quite a few interviews. I've only been out of a job for a week and like, three, four days, a week and four days now. So the fact that I'm already getting interviews means that something's gotta be working, right? But yeah, so this is just how I'm doing it. Okay, so I just applied to a place and so basically how I keep track of it is I just take a copy of the full job description and then I paste it in here and then I'll fill out all of these other details just so that I have a record of what exactly I've applied to. So I just finished with all of my applications. Um, it took a lot longer than expected. So right now it is already about 5.30. Normally I would go to the gym right now, but it is that time of the month for me and my pills are not working. So I'm just going to relax for a little bit. All right, it's time for skincare. I always start with the toner. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Toner. Next up is Serum. This is the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic, Salicylic Serum. It's so cute. It's a little strawberry bottle. Next up is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This one is the pump. I always use the one with the pump. Next, I'm using the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Overnight Face Oil. For this one, I only do three drops. I put it on my hand first, rub it in, and then press it into the skin. I don't put it on my eyelids because I feel like over time, it kind of like falls down my face and like gets in my eyes and then my vision gets kind of blurry and that's really annoying. So I just kind of leave it off of my eyelids. And then last, I use EOS's 24 hour moisture lip butter. This is in the scent Raspberry Cloud. It smells so good. And that's my skincare routine. It's exactly the same as my morning skincare routine. The only difference is in the morning, if I'm going out, I'll put on sunscreen. But yeah, so even if I don't show it, this is what I'm doing in the morning and at night. Okay, so it is time to make dinner. Let's ignore the fact that we have the Christmas tree up still and it's February. So this is what we're making today. Basically, the way that all this is lined up, I like to line up the same on the counter.
So this is the final dish. I haven't tried this one yet, but it looks good, so. Anyway, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that in the beginning it was kind of a little bit of a rant and maybe a little bit chaotic, but um, you know, I just wanted to let you guys in on what's going on in my life. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.